nicknamed 14 Key and NBA Most Valuable Player, Kevin Durant. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm usually good at, uh, at talking, but um, I'm a little nervous today. Um, first off, I, I'd like to thank God for changing my life. It re- let me really realize what life is all about. Basketball is just a platform in order for me to inspire people, and I realize that. From, I come from a small county outside of Washington, D.C. called PG County. And me, my mom, my brother, we moved so many different places growing up. And it felt like a box. It felt like there was no getting out. My dream was to become uh, a rec league coach. That's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to stay home and, and help the kids out and, and be a coach. I love basketball so much. I love playing it. I just never thought that I could make it to college, NBA, or stand up here today in front of you guys and be an NBA MVP. It's just, it's just a surreal feeling. And I had so much help. So many people believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. So many people doubted me and motivated me every single day to be who I am. I fell so many times and got back up. I've been through the toughest times with my family. But I'm still standing. Um, In the game of basketball, I play I play first off because I love it. I love to have fun. I love to run up and down the court. Uh, I told Grant Hill back there, I just got done playing against him, but as a second grader, I had a Piston Grant Hill jersey. That was the first time I walked into a gym. And um, that's why I fell in love with the game. My mom, I think she just wanted to get me and my brother out of the house for a couple hours. Um, But when I walked into the gym, I fell in love with the game. I didn't fall in love with it just because it was me playing. I fell in love with it because I got guys like this. Um, Like these guys every single day that push me to be the best player I can be. I want to single them out. Come on, even though you just got here. A few months ago. Yeah, we've grown so close uh, over these last few weeks. And I can remember when you first got here, you wrote a piece of paper in my locker. I don't know why I'm crying so much, man. You wrote a piece of paper in my locker and said, KD, MVP. And that's after we had lost two or three straight. And um, I don't really, like, I don't really say much, you know, in those moments, but I remember that. I go home and I think about that stuff, man. When you got people behind you, you can do whatever. And I thank you, man. I appreciate you. You guys think I forgot Russ. But I could speak all night about Russell. Um, and an emotional guy who will run through a wall for me. And I don't take it for granted. His days will. I want to just talk to you and tell you to snap out of it sometimes, but. Like, I know it's days you want to do the same thing with me. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> a lot of people put unfair uh, criticism on you as a as a player. And I'm the first to have your back, man. Do it all. <laughs> Just stay the person you are. Man, everybody loves you here. I love you.
don't think you know what you did. You had my brother when you were 18 years old. Three years later, I came out. We were stacked, the odds were stacked against us. Single parent with two boys by the time you were 21 years old. Everybody told us we weren't supposed to be here. We moved from apartment to apartment by ourselves. One of the best memories I had is when we moved into our, our first apartment. No, no bed, no furniture, and we just all sat in, in the living room and just hugged each other. That's what we thought we made it. And you know, when something good happens to you, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to look back to what brought me here. And, and you wake me up in the middle of the night in the summer times, making me run up the hill, making me do push-ups, screaming at me from the sideline of my games at eight or nine years old. We wasn't supposed to be here. You made us believe. You kept us off the street. Put clothes on our backs, food on the table. When you didn't eat, you made sure we ate. You went to sleep hungry. You sacrificed for us. You're the real MVP.